you know what, if you're watching this right now, there's probably a pretty good chance that you work the wrong way. You know what? Welcome to a new vlog! Are you okay? Are you okay? Dude, what's wrong with you? Did I freak you out? You can't do that. Yuri, did you freak out? Only once. I remember when you when I bought new suit, I spent like one month on this suit of my salary, and you drop a cup of coffee on me. And the same Thursday, I was freaked out. Yeah, I don't remember that. Sorry, Yuri, about your suit. Oh, I remember that day. Yeah, there's a lot happened. Season three. Season three. Season three. We, rec we remember my life based on Million Dollar Listed Seasons. I have to run. Yeah, go. Well, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. It froze. It froze. I can't see anything. Oh my god. What happened? Did he die? Yeah. He died? Yeah. No, he didn't die. No, he died. How do you know? You always say that. The guy has died. You show me videos all the time. I'm like, what happened? You're like, he died. He died. But how do you know he died? Yuri! Wait, 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 wait. So first he was dead, then he's almost died, and now he's 50 50? No, no, he's 50 50. He's 50 50. Okay, it's good to clarify these things when it comes to life or death because I just watched this video about this bear maul a guy in a circus in Russia. I thought he died, so that was fucked up, but now that I know he's just 50 50, like, no, no, like I'm 50 50 right now. Okay. Let's take a second. I'll just give him a call because I think he'll appreciate it. Okay. All right. So I'll, I'll just tell him we're going to gonna email him right now, but that like we're doing our absolute best, yada yada. And okay. I, I want to keep him happy. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Bye. All right. Let's do this. Ryan, I keep getting asked, what is the secret sauce? What's my secret sauce? Your secret sauce. My secret sauce. Is that what all the vlog comments are? Vlog comments, emails, DMs. My secret sauce, honestly, and I'll explain this, but is that I work all the time and I put in the work, but I work the right way. And <clears throat> I'm telling you everywhere, people, people want a quick path to success. And I don't want to sit here and like and talk about what everyone else has already talked about and blah, blah, blah. There is no quick path to success. It only takes hard work, which is true. Um, but I do think that most people work wrong. Like there's a difference between getting up going to work and going home and then what I do, right? There's a big difference to that. There's also a big difference in someone who goes to the gym, does the same thing for an hour every day for a year and what I do. This person over here, the one who goes to work from nine to five, then comes home, Netflix, chills and goes to bed and who goes to the gym every day for a year and does the same exact thing without, any, without creating any other change in their life, this person is working wrong. This person is just keeping busy. And that is a way that you just live in the day over and over and over and over and over. And that's why your days start to seem the same. That's why you start to wake up every day and you're like, man, today is the exact same as it was yesterday. And so my secret sauce isn't some secret kind of lead gen software or some kind of program on my phone or who I was born to or where I come from. Dude, I lead one of the top teams to sell real estate in New York City. Most of us aren't even from this city and there's a reason for that because we come here with blood that's ready to boil over to take things over because we're not okay with being commonplace because we're not okay with just being okay and we didn't come this far just to go this far if you're not getting to where you want to get to if you're pissed off about where you are in your life right now in the past year and this that if everything's a drag if things feel miserable if you feel like you're putting in the work the work the work the work the work every day i'm telling you right now and this is what i'm thinking about today you're working wrong because the right way to work is the work you do after work and now i have to run to an appointment Dude, have you seen that show it's insane. Like we're just like we're just like randomly turn the TV on at night. 
and just like do email and stuff like that. Um, and that show happened to be on. We watched it, and like the whole time, I mean, I was like on our phones, like doing work, and then like we're both like our eyes are just looking up, being like, "What the fuck are we watching right now?" It's crazy. Oh, it froze. Are you late today? I'm all over the place today. Oh, 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 late? Yes, I'm late today, because I got that event for West End in 87 tonight. Okay. What? Yuri has to go get my Yeah, Yuri's going to go get your mom. He knows, he knows, he knows. Okay, and like speed back with her. Yeah, does he have the right airport? Because sometimes Yuri gets confused about airports. I sent him even the flight, and it's JFK. It's easy to think that the secret to success is some complicated formula you can only get at like Harvard Business School or that it's completely out of reach to regular people. But it's easy to assume you need to know the right people, you need to be from the right places, have the right connections, have the right parents, have gone to the right schools. Like it's easy to fall into those patterns to think that success is not possible for you because the people who are successful, they got it from ways that you'll never be able to achieve. That's easy to think and I understand that. I know in my head that the core reason I've experienced the success I've had is because I'm willing to outwork anyone around me. I will outwork, outthink, outmaneuver, and outscheme every single person around me. I'm gonna work smarter by structuring my day and delegating tasks that could be offloaded to somebody else so that I only focus on what I want to do. That's all about time management. We're all given the same 24 hours a day. If you've watched my vlog about my thousand minute rule, maybe you can click it here when you're ready. The thousand minute rule is really, really important. We all have roughly the same thousand minutes every single day. And you are the own CEO of your own bank of time. You structure your day right, you structure your time right, you will get so much more done and be so much more productive for future you. That will then be your secret sauce. So take a real hard look at what you do every day, every hour. What were you doing at 7 a.m.? What were you doing at 8 a.m.? What were you doing at 9.35 a.m. this morning? Write it down. As an interesting example, you should track your day tomorrow. Write down every single 15 minute mark what you're actually doing, and then tomorrow, look back at it, and I bet you'll be surprised at how much time you wasted. And you'll never even notice it until you write it down. So I work smarter and I work more creatively by looking at things from a completely different angle. I'll show a property by doing an outrageous dance. I'll do whatever I have to. I'll bring a drum line. I'll dress up in different costumes. I want everything that I sell and my own personal brand to stand out amongst all the noise. Because it is 2019. There's so much noise out there. People have noise strapped to their wrists. It's in their hands. They can't get away from it. The news, the media, the voices, the talking, social, everything, it's just too much. So how do you separate yourselves from that? You have to stand out. You have to structure your day to stand out. You have to work more creatively to stand out. You have to work after the work. So that's my secret sauce. Everyone who's been asking, everyone who texts me, emails me, DMs me, leaves comments on this video, my secret sauce is that the work will take care of you as long as you take care of the work. I say that all the time because I honestly, honestly believe it to my core. You take care of the work and the work will take care of you. That's it. End of vlog. Vlog's over. That's it. Sorry. But you can still watch more. Maybe you can watch this one. Maybe you can watch this one. 
Dude, this one's pretty good. You should watch this one. Actually, you know what? This one seems pretty great. You should definitely watch this one. Actually, this one seems pretty good. Maybe you can watch both of them at the same time. Maybe try clicking like both.